good morning welcome back and i am back with another video on the... so before we move forward just uh, check out the other videos on my channel uh, which are related to msa and uh, i divided into three parts part one part and part three so part one talks about the basics of msa where i've captured accuracy and precision and I have captured all that uh, linearity, stability, bias, repeatability, and reproducibility in that video. In the part two, I have captured the variable gauge or another studies, how to perform interpretation of uh, the MSA unit app report. In the part three, I have talked about the attribute agreement studies, again, how to perform attribute agreement, how to interpret the unit app output. And there is another video on similar to MSA series on your measurement error and which I have talked about systematic error and random error. What is NDC? The NDC is the number of distinct categories. It is basically a measure that is we use in the measurement system analysis when we do the variable gauge RNR studies. It basically refers to the number of distinct categories or the non-overlapping inter uh, intervals that can be distinguished by measurement system. So when you perform the variable gauge R and R, you get a minute of output. And in the minute of output report, if you look at, there is a, a lot of sections, uh, outputs. And one of the output is in the form of number of distinct categories. So this indicates the it has number of additional categories as four. So this value represents the number of groups uh, your measurement system can distinguish the data itself. So higher the number, better the chance the tool has in discussing one part from another. So the formula to calculate the number of distinct categories is uh, given by NDC is equal to 1.41 times that is the under root of uh, the part variation divided by total gauge R and R. So in practice, in actual life, you don't need to calculate the NDC using this formula. So when you run the minute time, you will get the automatic value of NDC. And this calculation is done using the, uh, the system itself. So how do you know if your number is in high enough or not? Or is it is it acceptable or not? Unfortunately, there are some guidelines from AIAG, that is Automotive Industry Action Group. So as per them, if your NDC is one, that means your measurement system is of no value for controlling the process. If your NDC is two, that means your data can be distinguished into two categories, either high or low. If your NDC is three, number of distinct categories and data can be divided into three groups, say low, medium, high. And if its value is more than five, it is considered as an acceptable measurement system. And say, for example, if you have done multiple tries and still you're not getting a value of more than five and you see value of five, then what should you do in that case? So then in that case, there are two possible solutions that you can look for. First of all, you need to analyze more distinct parts that totally represent the entire range of process. Secondly, increase your precision on your measurement tool. So using these two, you probably you can uh, re-evaluate your study and uh, improve your NDC. And now the most important part where people do get confused about the difference between the resolution and the NDC. When we talk about the resolution, it is nothing but the smallest division the gauge that is capable of reading. Say for, for example, the digital micrometer can read up to 0 0.0005 inch increment and has a resolution of 0.0005 inch while the NTC talks about how many categories your measurement system is able to distinguish so if your NDC is one which i've already discussed the msa is useless so if NDC is two your measurement system can distinguish only between two categories either small or big if your NDC is three it will have small medium or big it is always preferred to have NDC greater than or equal to 5 as per the AIAG manual reference. So that's all I have for this session. I hope you like my video. And in, in case if you like, please do comment, share, subscribe and like. And do let me know your views. 
and before going please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and do hit the bell icon for all the latest updates on my channel thank you see you again bye